Hey, welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 10 to 16 this morning. And let's read in, read along. And it happened on the next day that the distressing spirit from God came upon Saul, and he prophesied inside the house. So David played music with his hand, as at other times, but there was a spear in Saul's hand, and Saul cast the spear, for he said, I will pin David to the wall. But David escaped his presence twice. Now Saul was afraid of David, because the Lord was with him, but had departed from Saul. Therefore Saul removed him from his presence, and made him his captain over a thousand. And he went out, and came in before the people. And David behaved wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. Therefore, when Saul saw that he behaved very wisely, he was afraid of him. But all Israel and Judah loved David because he went out and came in before them. So, first of all, my question is, you know, David is pretty agile, isn't he? Saul actually cast a spear. If David hadn't moved or if Saul's aim had been better, David would have died that day. But why does it say it happened twice? I mean, what was David doing there the second time? David maybe was uh, trusting more than he should have. I mean, if a guy... Guy tries to shoot me or cut me up, you know, I, I might not just say, oh, oh, oh I should guess, guess you were just kidding. Let me stand back here within range again. I'm not sure I would do that. I really don't think I would do that. But David is trying to trust Saul. Now it says here that also Saul put him over as captain over a thousand. Notice it wasn't over 10,000. He very explicitly puts David over a group of 1,000 men. And so, uh, this is an interesting piece, too. It's, it's, it's Saul rebuking that 10,000 and 1,000 business we talked about yesterday morning. The main point here is that Saul's afraid of David because, there's a reason, because God is with him and because God has departed from Saul. Saul is feeling this empty thing. Saul recognizes that the Spirit of God has left him. And Saul recognizes that God is with David. And so Saul, his response to this is what? Is what? Fear. Fear. Saul is afraid of David, and so he's very afraid. It's mentioned repeatedly in our passage here, and that's where things are. Israel's just won a wonderful victory because God delivered Israel, but Saul is Saul's radar is very much focused on David. He's 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 got his big eyeball on David because Saul is not moving from a spiritual direction. Saul is, in the absence of God, everything becomes political, doesn't it? I mean, sorry to say it, but that's what's going on here. His eye is on David to destroy him. That's where things are. It's interesting that when God departed from Saul and God's spirit was upon David, that the reaction of Saul to that is to fear. Fear the one who was God's servant. You and I, as God's servants, sometimes people will fear us. It'll be an irrational fear, but they're against us because they recognize that Things could get upended because there's a person of faith around here somewhere. So that's actually not a bad thing, but people of faith, as David demonstrated, need to be sometimes a bit agile because there will be spears potentially coming your way, even from somebody who should be your supporter. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you gave David a very agile uh, experience. Thank you that you protected him. Thank you that even though he was now captain over a thousand, your spirit was with him. Please, Lord, may your spirit be with your church today. Use us. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today, too.